Hello, and this is Big Bang Bot, and welcome back to my Spyro Free Me Play. And let me just say that it's in English now. I'm, I'm only putting it in English for one reason. Then, it, then we're going back to the Spanish reasons of Spanish. Anyway, last time I went through a speedway. It was interesting. But this time I'm going somewhere else. called Fireworks Factory. I'm having this in English for Fireworks Factory for one simple reason. You'll see why. First off, epic music. We're off to a good start. Epic level. That's here too. Wait, is that Greta? As in the one in Scorch from Spyro 2? What's she doing here? Is she on another super secret spy mission? Just that she's wearing a karate of kung fu costume. Right, I've got to check this out. That's including these dudes. And yes, I do know what to expect. But, I'm going to talk about it anyway. Where do these guys keep coming from? Oh well. Oh, hello! It's good to see you again, Spyro. What that did they do to our voice? What did they, they do? Ah, oh, she is in a super sequel spy. Oh wait, just it's Maybe just a regular sequel mission. It's not a super sequel spy mission. No, it's just a super secret mission. That's not as cool as a super sequel spy mission. And what did they do to her voice? And if I and you may be clear curious on what her Spanish voice sounds like, well, I'm gonna wait until I play. By the Palvo Spyro 2 to find that out. Thank you very much. Are there any skill points here? So I can break. Is there like a wall I can destroy? Is there something? We need to find Agent 9's power up. Which I think is that is an age nine's area. Oh great. I've not played as Agent 9 before, but according to Stippy Land, playing as Agent 9 is like playing the Rap Cortex. No, that's not weird. Well when it come, came to it in his experience, the gameplay is different, but when it comes to his experience, I guess it's the exact same experience. Whoops! These guys keep jumping all over the beacon place! Kidding me? Noodles? Who call? Who the people would call their child noodles? I mean, I know these are dragons, but seriously, noodles? That's a name for a creature? I don't even know what to say. This is despicable. This is awful. Why would you do this to me, game? I've 
gotta go back. Can't go in here yet. I think I need to beat the level to get in there. That was something in Super Mario 2. I mean, like, robotic farms, and maybe some other levels, but the robotic farms is the only level I can remember. There was a, you know, a, once you beat the level, there was a portal to get to the end faster. And in Spyro 3, that's practically in almost every level. Which is interesting, I guess, but... Never mind. <laughs> Boom! Take that! <laughs> Give me that! Well, I don't want to talk to her. They ruined her. It looks like you'll have to use this cannon to get across here. Simply climb don't over. Don't mean it looks like. Me, I just have to free my mind. Okay, free your mind, whatever. Whoa! I never knew that. Wait, Brett can teleport in Spyro 2. So I shouldn't be surprised if you can jump that far. Cannons! Whoa, 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 whoa. That is a weird part of the song. Ninja! That's nice. No. Why wow, have to destroy that? These enemies are tough. Should I be scared for Agent 9's levels? Or will everything be okay? Everything will be okay. A proxy jump is possible here, but guess what? It's useless in a in a many percent speed run. As in for one hundred percent speed run. That's a little bit different. I'll talk to Greta, but they weren't done. I don't want to talk to her. It looks like the sorceress has already used the plans to build her own rocket. We have to destroy it. Just follow me. Do we have to warm up the rocket by any chance? When did Gweta learn karate? I wanna know. There's Agent Nine's level. And there is a way to get him there early. Hey, look what was in the rocket. They must have What was in the rocket? I'm walking! If you Man, what a now, great name. How have I gone back to Evening Lake to finish work on the Professor's rocket? Speaking that, we don't see the Professor until the very end of the game. It's kind of sad. What, did they... 
what? I know that the professor was also voiced by, you know, the same guy who played Spyro, and maybe they didn't want him to, like, do so much things. Or they, maybe they didn't want him to, like, do all of this work. Maybe because he was working very hard on SpongeBob. I'm not making it very clear, but whatever. But still, what is going on? Poxy jumps can be done in this area. And if you're lucky, you can do a really, 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 really high one. Like that. I would break the ninja box, but why should I? There's another one. And I just want to show you that a proxy jump is possible. You know what? I'm gonna, I'll destroy them. But I'm going to commit suicide immediately. They respawn, they better. And wouldn't you know, they respawn. This box doesn't work as well as the other one. Wait, I want to walk it. Where's my walk it? The walk it. Where's my walk it? Well, there goes my secret mission. It wasn't very secret if we beat everyone up. Most secret mission ever. Where's the thingy? Spy woe! Go find this. Destroy it. And make sure that nothing falls off. A green gem did. He will be missed. Until I get him. Whoops, go. Going the wrong way. Don't worry, yeah, this rocket will take me up. It's the other way in. Stupid me. And it took me to the exact place that I wanted to go. Boxy jumps are very interesting things in Spyro 2 and 3. And Spyro 1, but they're rarely ever used in Spyro 1. How come Spyro 1 is a really polished game, yet Spyro 2 and 3 aren't as polished? Not saying they're not as good, but Spyro 1 definitely has a lot less glitches. That's what I mean by polished. Not polished as in the enjoyment, but polished as in how glitchy, how many glitches are in the game. Spyro 1 doesn't have that many. Spyro 2 is flooded with glitches, and Spyro 3 has a lot as well. Although Spyro 2 is probably more glitchy. So this is how you get out of the castle. It's very nice up here. Wouldn't you agree, Spyro? And if you want, you can get past Gwetta's area without her spotting you. even get inside the rocks if you want. Well, I'm going over here.
Hey, look, it's handle. Uh oh. You have to use this combo power up to take out these fire dragons. It will allow you to super. What? Handle did not have the gre. Did not talk like Greta in Spyro 2. He did not. I don't remember him talking like Greta. Maybe he did, but he definitely sounded a lot more mature than Greta. Hey look, Spyro destroying Chinese dragons on in the year of the dragon. How cute. <laughs> No, this is what the wing happened to Mario 64 should have been like. This. Free flight. Full control. All this cool stuff. I don't think you get the infinite super breath in Spyro 2. So why should you beat it 100%? 117%, whatever. Dragons breathe fire at me, or did I literally get hit by nothing? And it's just lazy that they're using NPCs or NPCs, whatever they're called, that were already in Spyro 2. This is lazy. And also, how did money bags get here? I mean, seriously, he doesn't. We didn't see him go down the hole in the beginning. How, how did Hunter make it here? And also, you never, ever, ever need to pay money bags in an any percent playthrough, ever. I mean, money bags doesn't open up any portals I can inspire him to. And you can practice skip all the times where he opens new pathways to levels. Even if it is with a proxy jump. But maybe that's a good thing because every single thing is expensive in this game. Money bags doesn't even pay you any new ability. Doesn't even give you any new abilities. Man, these dragons are tedious and they heal themselves! That is not fair. The, it was the camera's fault. too slow for almost a thousand years. Oh wait, it's not that long. Spyro, flying too slow for almost 16 years. I'll beep, I'll beep, I'll beep, 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 beep. I saw something. Where is it? Oh, it's there. Where are those pets? Dragons. Maybe the year of the dragon, but I am the dragon here, not you. 2000 should have been the year of Spyro. I will kill him. Die! These 
erratic patterns. Man, they're driving me crazy. At least only one to worry about. And he was nearly dead once, and now he's nearly at full health again. Wagons are way too fast for me. Had Weta was like the most memorable IP or no not IP MPC in like Spyro 2. And they ruined her! Why? Where did he go? Good things these things never, almost never burn you. Otherwise this really would be annoying. Here, have this. I fished it out of the molten lava. You got it out of the molten lava? So now comes now comes the egg is in perfectly good condition. How comes it's not burnt? How comes the dragon's alive? Oh well, it's a game. I shouldn't complain too much. The ninja headquarters. That one can just die for all I care. This one, however, this one's interesting. No! Never turn myself in time. This is very fun. I blame two things, the camera and Spyro. The camera is being really annoying. And the proxy jump and the proxy jump is not working. Oh well, it's just a proxy jump anyway. Yes, I did it, but I failed. I fell off. Oh, I'm going in here. Ready for some ninja stuff. Hey, won't handle. Why are you here? I think I can see an egg behind you, but it's out of reach. You'll have to take the long way round through all these Wynox to get to it. Go round the Wynox. In order to get up there, you need to help. You need the Y knock. You need to get through the Y knocks. Not even the turn jump can do it. Not even the wall glide can do it. Oh well. It's not Spymo 3 anymore. I just want the egg! So you are legally allowed bazookas in the nin- Ninjas use bazookas? Wait. Why am I back down to four lives? Was it the boss? <laughs> that was unfair. Here I come! This level is pretty epic. I can tell you that much. But I'm scared for the age of nine section. And yes, I do have to go there right now. 
thank you very much. Rockets always around the corner when you need them. Wait, this is the guy I'm looking for. I need to distract him. And that didn't work. You didn't see that one coming. There are two ways to go. Is this way which only has this dude? And this dude. Wait, I can take care of him pretty easily. I don't want to waste this rocket. This rocket is precious. There we go. Oops. Oops. That was just something I missed because I was playing the game in English. I was too busy finding other things out. Oh my! That was unfair. Knockback. Annoying people since it's the NES days. Don't know what the first game of Knockback was, but. Annoying people since the first game of Knockback back from like. 1980-something. That was deserving. Stop flying all over the place. You're dead. He's dead. The rocket is in my mail. And Greta was one of the most memorable characters in like Spyro 2 that were the main characters. Yet yeah, they ruined them! No! That's me. Well, at least Sam is more logical than Noodles. And a name that people would actually call their children. Well, at least compared to, like, Noodles. <laughs>